uh, also very very cool feature and and really popular uh, since we have GDPR uh, in, in in play uh, these recent years. Uh, so uh, how um, dynamic data masking is working? So we can add a mask. So let's see if I go to schema. Let's say DBO. No, let's say sales LT, and we go to the customers. Uh, we can see all the tables here in the customer table. Let's say what is the, let's say that email address is is a, is a sensitive information. We can add a mask. We have one for the email, and I can add add. Uh, what I need to do now is also save here uh, to enable the rules. Now what happens is that everyone except the system admin account when querying a customer database uh, customer table will have results like this for the, all the emails we can exclude additionally users in this list i can do uh excluding of the users that are going to access the, the, the that data that will have rights to read the email but rest of the cust uh, users of the database will see the email uh, kind of mass so it really help us to prevent, we can basically give access to certain uh, tables, but only to part of the data and, and secure additionally all the sensitive information. For example, uh, our marketing might need a telephone number, but they don't need to see a credit card information and, and, and et cetera. Now, for the encryption part, we have transfer data encryption. Uh, if anyone implemented uh, TD uh, on-prem, they know it's kind of a process to create a master certificate on server level, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, with uh, Azure SQL databases, it's really simple. We just have to do click on, and that's about it. So basically, if I clicked on, click save, this would actually encrypt my data and uh, database would be covered with uh, TDE. Uh, additionally, if we wanted to, to do more, this is again with Microsoft provided key because it's a really simple option where we just click on. Uh, there are additional options that we can use to uh, enable Azure SQL uh, encryption with TDE using a key vault and our custom keys uh, and that has to be done through PowerShell. Uh, it's a really simple script that defines certain elements like which uh, resource group and uh, which SQL database we're going to use, uh, which, uh, uh, which key vault we're going to use, which secret in the key vault we're going to use, and finally enable uh, transparent data encryption on, on the Azure SQL database. Uh, I'm not going to run the script because it's going to take certain amount of time to actually execute, but uh, that we currently don't have 